You guys ready to really start farming shulkers? I didn't think so. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe on the next one. Hey, you dudes. What's up? It's your boy, Abjap here. Hey! And welcome back. On this one, we are going to be building the shulker farm. Now, keep in mind, if you are building this farm, I'm going to assume that you're super rich already. Okay, now this farm here, this farm is broken down into two sections. Two sections in the overworld and two sections in the nether. This white chest right here, this is what we're going to need in order to build all of the portals. And this is the redstone and the buttons that we need for the farm. So that's two dispensers and 15 droppers. We're going to need activator rails, detector rail. And these are the items right here that we're going to need in order to build the two sections in the nether. So we're going to have the lower and the upper section in the overworld and the lower and the upper section in the nether. You're also going to need to bring along two minecarts for this build, two boats as well, and probably a bunch of builder blocks and temporary blocks too as well. And now the first thing you're going to do for this build is you're going to turn on chunk borders, so F3 and G, and you're just going to find the center of a chunk, which is somewhere right around here. There's going to be four blocks in the center. We're going to pick one of them and we're going to build up to Y104. And once you're standing on Y104, we're going to establish which direction is north. So for us, it's towards that flower forest over there. And now what we're going to do towards the west and the east, we're going to jump up. We're going to go one temporary block and we're going to do the same thing for both sides. So to the east and the west, we're going to go temporary, temporary with a piece of obsidian. Two more temporaries with a piece of glass on top. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Once you have that done, you're going to come back to the center. You're going to leave a block gap and put two more pieces of glass. This is going to be the center of your farm right here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to build the outside walls here, 17 by 17, and the inside portals, 19 by 19. So for the outside walls, that's eight blocks each direction and 17 blocks tall. And for the portals, that's nine blocks each direction. Okay, so you should have two 19 by 19 portals and two 17 by 17 walls. Now for these inside walls, what we're going to do is we're going to make these 17 blocks long, but we're only going to make them six blocks high. And once you're done, you're going to run a row of slabs all the way across the center here. This is just going to make it a nice, smooth, flat platform for us to work from. And now what we're going to do is we're going to jump up to the north corner up there. We're going to come back five blocks, then in three, so that way we are over the center of the farm right here. And then we're going to build up 11 blocks in total. This includes one. Once we are 11 blocks up, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a three by three portal opposite of the two big portals that we have below us there. Okay, now while we're up here, what we're going to do is towards the inside of the farm, we're going to put down two slabs like so with the dispenser facing up, two powered rails going towards the inside of the portal, two solid blocks coming off of the back side of the dispenser here. We're going to put two hoppers going into the dispenser. Off of the end of these hoppers right here, we're going to run a row of three slabs coming out like this, a detector rail in the middle, a repeater coming off of that detector rail, and now we're just going to build a small short rail system right here that direction there we'll worry about all of this afterwards but that is essentially all we're going to need on the top we'll have to worry about our buttons too when we're done now what we're going to do is we're going to jump back down here we're going to pretty much grab every single thing from the redstone box that we have here and from the north side which is the side with the portal that we just built from the left here what we're going to do is we're going to build a pretty large pulse extender so place down two pieces of redstone dust with two comparators another piece of redstone dust and two more comparators, one in front of the other. Now we're going to turn back the other direction. Comparator, comparator, solid block. Comparator, comparator, with another solid block at the end. At this end, we're going to place two pieces of redstone dust with a repeater going into that. Off of this repeater, we're going to have two blocks. Our daylight sensor. In front of the daylight sensor, we're going to have our note block. A single piece of redstone dust. And then crouching, aiming at that redstone dust, we're going to place down a trap door. Beside this repeater, we're going to go temporary block with two hoppers reading into it. On this hopper to the right facing down, we're going to put a piece of obsidian. This can actually be any block that you want, but that is where our shulker is going to sit. 
Behind the daylight sensor, we're going to put three solid blocks up nice and high, just like this. And that is the entire system right there. So now what we're going to do is we're basically just going to surround this thing with glass and put in a rail system too as well. So on the back left here with the side with the comparators, we're going to build up three high and we're going to do that all the way to the target block. We're going to do a two by two in front of these ones. We're going to step it up one, two, back three, and step it up two more times. Now we're going to run powered rails down this whole entire thing, placing an activator rail right here beside where the shulker is going to be. In the center here, we're going to run a row of slabs all the way up towards, not there, and over the target block like that. And now shulker bolts, shulker bolts need a two block gap in order to travel. So our shulker is going to be right here on this piece of obsidian. One, two. So fill all that in and then bring this up and around and over the top all the way back to where this powered rail is. Now we can take our powered rails, run them up and across. We're going to extend it one more. We need a solid block. It has to be a full solid block off the end of that powered rail right there. That's where we're going to drop the shulker down to drop him in place. And now we're going to jump down to the back here and this is where we're going to work on and this is where we're going to work on the sender system. Off the front here towards the north, we're going to put a solid block coming off of that redstone. In the center, we're going to build up two blocks and off of this block, we're going to build a four by two platform. On these two solid blocks, we're going to go sand, gap, with a dropper facing up. In front of the dropper, we're going to have a comparator, solid block, solid block beside the dropper, and three pieces of redstone dust to finish this off. Going into the dropper, we are going to run seven hoppers in total out and around the cacti, or the sand. We're going to put cacti there in a second. Like that, going into the dropper. We can take our powered rails, we can run them down and straight into the sand, build up our three high. You want it to be three high. This solid block down here, we're going to place a redstone torch with a solid block and another redstone torch on top of it. And off of the back here, we're going to build a 15 high dropper vader. And as well, we're going to bring a redstone torch tower up right there beside it. And starting from right here above the comparator, we're going to place down an observer, redstone dust on top of it, dropper facing up beside it, and then just repeat this pattern. Dropper, dropper, observer, redstone dust, soul block, torch, soul block, torch. And just repeat that until you're out of droppers. Okay, once you're to the top here, this is how you want to end off. You want to end off with an observer that is higher than the dropper. Beside this observer, we're going to put down a solid block with the dispenser facing in like this. Above this redstone torch, we're going to put one more solid block. In front of this dispenser, we're going to put a single slab with another one in front of it. Now we're going to take some temporary blocks and we are going to build a temporary stair up to that right there. So we're going to have to knock this block out. Use dirt to build a temporary stair system in order to put top half slabs so that way you don't have to put so many buttons down. Single torch here in order to power everything and if we put a single minecart in here to test the system, yep, we are good to go. And back up here at the top portal, we need to put a redstone torch in order to power that. And on the opposite side here, we're going to build a four, a four by six platform. And if we come to the end one here and two blocks in, you can see that is right where we're going to drop our minecart down. So we're going to put a piece of redstone dust on top of that block with a piston facing in. And you can see these should all line up perfectly. 
from below here, we're now going to make a small shoot. It doesn't have to be too long. We're going to take our powered rails. We're going to connect them up to where that hole is. Put a stopper in place in order for the minecart to fall down. And this right here, this is where we're going to store shulkers in the overworld. So it's up to you how many you want to store here. This little setup right here gives you enough to store one, two, three, four, five, six shulkers. And now we're just going to put a simple lower half slab above this entire little enclosure that we just made. We're going to make sure we put buttons all over the roof in here so the shulkers stay on the floor. Put a minecart in this dispenser. Okay, and with this upper section here all finished, now what we're going to do is we're going to jump down to our walls down here. And right here on the backside, we are going to jump up and we're going to build this back up until it meets the corner of that portal. Remove all of our temporary blocks. And now we need to leave a gap right here in order for the minecart to drop down. So we need to leave a gap here and we also need to leave a block gap in order for the minecart to travel. And we also need to power all of these rails. Easily done with your glass walls. Something like that should do just fine. And now we can just finish this wall all the way up to the top of this portal. Leaving our little one block gap here in order for the minecart to draw. So that's the rail side done. And for this opposite side here, we do not have to be picky at all. All we have to do is just run glass all the way to the top here and do it for the entire side. So just fill this whole thing in. The only place you won't be able to place glass is right beside the cactus, but that doesn't matter anyway. And with that all complete, that is the overworld side done and finished. And with that all complete and our walls in place, now it's time for us to head over to the nether and finish these two sections. So the first thing that we're going to do before we head over there is we're going to take the coordinates of this portal. We're going to divide these by eight and we're going to head to that location above the nether roof. Make sure you absolutely delete this portal too before you head above the nether roof. Okay, once you're at that location in the nether, if you're right on a chunk border or right near a chunk border, you can take a few steps in, but don't take any more than just a couple. Okay, but once you found your location, you're going to build up in the nether to 207. Once you're standing on 207... You're going to build yourself a nice 3x3 three three portal, and you're going to make sure that that is facing east and west. Once you're done this portal, you're going to light it, and then you're going to build another portal exactly like this, 10 blocks above this one. Once you have your two portals done, on the east side of the portal, which is this side right here, east side, Build a small 2x4 platform. We want to make sure that is offset like this. In this corner, we're going to have a dispenser facing in. Comparator, solid block, redstone dust, another solid block, repeater set to 4 ticks with some more redstone dust going right over the dropper. Now we're going to take three hoppers, running it into the dropper. Coming out and around like this. We're going to bring some slabs out and over. This is going to be for a rail system. Slab beside the comparator. Sand. Cacti. We'll put both of them. Run a simple rail system running into the cacti. We're going to leave a one block gap. And then right here. This is where we're going to put an activator rail. A regular rail. Redstone torch for the activator. Redstone torch in the corner for the powered rails. Off of this slab, we're going to run a temporary block and then a 3x3 three three high wall of glass or solid blocks. We're going to need to absolutely surround this entire thing, except for the front side, in buttons. 
Same thing goes for the portal too as well. Okay, now up above us there, we did all of our work towards the east side. Now on the lower portal here, what we're going to do is we're going to work towards the west side, so the opposite side. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do the same thing that we did in the overworld, is we are just going to build a small platform. And this is going to be used to just hold more shulkers. So we're going to do the same thing that we did in the overworld in the upper half there. We're just going to build a small containment area. We need our powered rail to come out from the center of this portal. We're going to make it look like this. Okay. And with your small containment area, this can be basically as big as you want. If you want to hold 30 in here, you can hold 30 in here. But now all we need to do is we have a small rail system right up there. We'll call that A. We have B right down here. Um, we just need to connect A to B. Okay, once you have your rail systems done and in place, just go around double checking everywhere to make sure that you got your buttons. You can see I forgot my sand. And with our top half done and all buttoned up and our bottom half done. Okay, now before we go back to the overworld and start duplicating some shulkers, we're just going to set up a quick and simple collection system. So before we tear down all of our scaffolding, we're just going to come a few blocks below the lowest portal down here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to put down a temporary block and we're going to run three hoppers in a row, all going into each other. On the outsides of these hoppers, we're going to place down three slabs and then on the pots, we're going to put down two boats. Now what we're going to do is we're going to nudge these boats forward ever so slightly. You don't want to do it too much. You just want it to be a little bit, a little something like that. And now on the side here, we're going to build up a couple of temporary blocks. And above the boats, we're going to run three pieces of soul sand. You don't really need the one in the middle, but we're going to put it in there anyways. Now remove all of these blocks around here, except for these three slabs that are right in front of the boats and now you can get rid of all of your temporary and you can head back on over to the overworld now now it's time to just light this portal and go back through to the overworld we're gonna end up hopefully in the top portal not hopefully i'm just joking i've got my coordinates correct okay now quick button check on the inside you want to make sure that you throw buttons anywhere that there's an opening from the center towards the outside there because that you can definitely teleport there up top you want to completely cover the portal and all the solid blocks that are there and you want to cover all of these blocks up here that are within the little containment area that we have for our shulkers in the overworld you don't want them to spawn anywhere out here okay but with everything all done now it's just time for us to light the portals and then we have one decision to make doers two portals or four portals two or four i'm just going to do two on this one so that means i'm going to have to run buttons down this entire wall of glass right here on the outside but that's the only place i have to run buttons but if you're going to go with four portals you don't even have to worry about this doers you should be good to go okay now let's just move our shulker in place and drop our snow golems in Okay, now with our shulker in place, all we need to do now is prime the system. And in order to do that, what we're going to have to do is we have to jump down here. And I land it in the perfect spot. And we need to just remove this torch right here temporarily. And you can see that extends the piston. So now what we can do is we can fly back up to the top. And all we're going to do is we're going to stand up here and we're going to drop mine cards down one by one into the system there until one comes dispensing out the top. Don't throw it at the cacti. And there we go. So now that that minecart is in place, we can go replace that redstone torch now. Okay, torch is replaced. And once we get this torch in place, we have one final step, and that is to get the snow golems in. Okay, now that the system's primed, we're going to get the snow golems in. Final step. So right there, you can see the target block. It's right underneath this one. The one behind it is where the snow golems are going to go. 
right there on the daylight sensor. Now, we only need one for this. And as soon as he's in place, you can hear the farm is activated. The farm is going. We're going to wait for this guy to duplicate. Okay, he's officially duplicated once. We're going to wait for it to do a few more times. Okay, with three successful duplicates, now what we're going to do is we're just going to jump up to the top of the farm really quickly. Up to here. We're going to hit this button once. We're going to send our minecart over and we should successfully have a shulker here in just a second. There's our minecart. And there is our other shulker. Oh no, I missed some buttons. See, I told you, they'll make you honest. Okay, we'll do that again. There's our minecart. And there is our spare shulker. Where'd he go? Oh, see? Okay, but once you have a spare shulker here, you can actually do that up to seven times, I think I said, because that's how many slots we have. So you can bring as many over as you would absolutely like. But now that he is successfully duplicating down there, and we've got a spare one over here, and we can pull more over if we need to. See? Okay, well while we wait for this guy to duplicate a little bit more to get more shulkers out of him, let's do something about these pigmen. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a temporary block underneath the glass there with a trap door going down. We're going to have one more on the inside here with another one on the outside like that. On top of this one, we're going to put a turtle egg. We're going to close these down and then we're going to get rid of these as fast as we can. Okay, with that done, you can see these guys are already starting to get attracted to all of these. And basically, something as simple and ridiculous as this is enough to take care of that pigman problem. Okay, now I should definitely go through a different portal. Well, it's definitely working. So there you have it, you guys. There's the Shulker Farm in all of its glory. You can see that even with just two portals, this farm works absolutely fine. I mean, two portals one snow golem we're getting a duplicate pretty much every couple of seconds here which is absolutely crazy i kind of wish the shulker would die so that we could actually see the system work but that's going to do it for this episode you guys so you can see this is essentially how the farm works the way the setup is the way the layout is the shulker pretty much never takes damage but because they have eye contact with each other he's always going to shoot a shulker shell and duplicate once he does die off the shulker here will drop down to take his place the minecart will come around It's going to come up our rail system here, collect a new shulker, dispensing a minecart to go and get another one back from the nether. Now in the nether on the lower portal, it is possible to set up a dispenser system where it is possible for you to send your shulkers back to the overworld. In the overworld side here, all you're going to do is just set up a simple hopper to collect whatever does come through. Once you get some shulker shells, it dispenses them all back through for you. You don't get a shulker shell every kill. But once you do get one, you can be sure it'll get caught by these hoppers and be waiting for you in the overworld. You can also see that I do not have a permaloader set up on this system whatsoever. Hear me out for a second, okay? This is a permaloader. Every two seconds, we have a shulker going through to the nether. We have pigmen that come through on the portals, and we constantly have items and shulkers coming back and forwards from the nether. So I'm not quite sure why we need and four portals. You guys can let me know down in the comments, but I love all you guys. That's going to do it for this episode. This is a long one. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. World download will be in the description and shop happyjappy.com. Thank you so much for all the support on all the merch and the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love all you guys and I'll see you on the next one.